In order to understand the importance of a baseball or softball player cutting back on the number of pop-ups and infield grounders they hit, all you need to do is take a look at the scorebook for a player for a year and change the outs they experience from someone catching a ball they hit in the air or a ball they hit to an infielder and threw them out and change it to a hit and see how it changes their batting average. So the question becomes, what is it that causes pop-ups and infield grounders to be so frequent? One of the things that we believe is largely responsible is the contact between the bat and the ball isn't within what is known as the sweet spot area of the bat. So another question is, why are players so unprepared to ensure that the contact of their bat and the ball is within the sweet spot area? We believe it's because the conditioning and training, especially a young player experiences, doesn't focus on ensuring that contact is within that sweet spot. Training for baseball and softball players to hit typically begins with the use of a hitting tee. The ball is typically positioned on the post in the center of home plate, and the batter is instructed to make the contact within the sweet spot area of their bat. So they position themselves in the batter's box to have the ability to make that contact. And they repeatedly hit balls off of the tee in that location. But not all balls travel down the middle of home plate. So the tee is located in a different position, such as the outside edge of the strike zone. The player then repositions himself in the batter's box so that the sweet spot is where the contact is made. In a different position they were in when they were hitting the ball in the center of home plate. Then of course the tee is also relocated for the inside area of their strike zone and the player once again relocates themselves in a different position in the batter's box so they can make the contact on the sweet spot of the bat. The player is also trained and conditioned with something known as a soft toss. The balls are tossed to them from the side and they hit the balls. And of course the player also is trained and conditioned with balls being pitched to them pitched from a person or a pitching machine. Our experience has been in most cases when the balls are soft tossed and or pitched to them there's very little consideration given, very little attention paid to whether the contact is within the sweet spot part of the bat. As a matter of fact there's very little attention paid to where the contact is actually made. So the player ends up being prepared to go into the batter's box in a game with one or two options. One is they determine whether the ball will be passing over home plate or not and be in the strike zone or not. They also have to determine where they have to be located in the batter's box in order to make sure the sweet spot of the bat is where the contact occurs. Then they have to make a decision to swing the bat and of course swing the bat. And they have to do all this during the period of time the ball leaves the pitcher's hand and enters into their hitting zone. Almost impossible. So what typically happens is the batter swings a bat swing that is so compromised that even if the contact is within the sweet spot of the bat, the driving force of the ball impacts the travel, the forward travel of the barrel of the bat so much that it results in pop-ups and infield grounders. The secret to a player being a great hitter is to have the ability to step into the batter's box in one location, the same location, and have the ability to be programmed with a bat swing muscle memory that allows them to swing at all balls traveling in their strike zone with the one single bat swing that ensures that the contact will be within the sweet spot area of the bat. 
So the only thing a batter has to do when they're in the batter's box is decide when to hit the ball. They don't have to think about anything else. And that's exactly what our Hitting Tea program produces.